Hey everyone, welcome back to Forensic Education. I'm Mike McCutcheon. Today I'm just going to focus on using a black gel lifter. We're going to lift fingerprints with it, whether we dust them with our powder. We're going to lift fingerprints without touching them at all. No fingerprint powder at all, just using our gel lifter. We're going to lift some foot impressions with the gel lifter. We're going to do some indented writings with the gel lifter. These things are pretty amazing. And so I'm going to go through each section and show you all the different things that you can do with these gel lifters. The first thing I want to show you about the gel lifter is that they come in all different sizes. You have these big boys right here um, that you can, they're great for full foot impressions if you have a foot impression you need to lift. But what's nice about the gel lifters, unlike a, a regular uh, flap lifter or something like that, is that you can cut them. So you could buy a larger size, something like this, and then just with your scissors, you can go ahead. You can give them a chop, and then there you have whatever size that you want. So if you wanted to buy the big boy, you can go ahead and do that and then chop it up. They do come in all sizes, of course, so that you can get whatever size that you need. So I like to get the big ones like this, and then I get a lot of the, uh, the smaller ones just for single fingerprints. So let's start with uh, the basic. We'll dust a fingerprint real quick, and then we'll lift a fingerprint uh, from a textured surface. Let me throw on some gloves. I always forget that, put on my gloves when I'm doing the teaching, and then uh, it's an absolute mess. So I'm being good today. So we're just going to use a regular brush and powder to dust a fingerprint. And this is going to be the only time that I actually uh, dust a fingerprint. The rest of them, I'm going to just try to lift just using the, the, uh, the gel lifter. So I'm going to fan our brush out. Just move that over. Remember, less is more, just a tiny little bit of powder. We'll use this. So I'm going to dust that on here. Perfect. Remember, put your cover on as soon as you're done. You don't want that spilling. Very important. All right, so I have the, uh, the fingerprints here. I'm actually going to throw them in for a close-up just so you can see that there's beautiful fingerprints on there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Gorgeous. Look at those babies. Now, you'll notice that even though I'm using black uh, fingerprint powder, I, still, I only use black gel lifters. I don't use any other color except the black. The only time I will use a white gel lifter is when um, lifting blood prints, but we're not going to do that today. So I have my black powder that I just lifted, and then I'm going to lift it with my, my gel lifter. So when you're lifting your gel lifter, it has a protective coating on it. You're just going to peel it. So now this is the sticky part of the gel lifter. I'm going to put that right on top of my fingerprint. Now I'm going to leave that there for about 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Give it a little pressure. Now this is a textured surface. This is actually a piece of siding, so it does have indents. So if you wanted to, I like to use a fingerprint roller, and we'll use this a couple times today. And then I just roll that on there, and that's going to push the gel into those creases, so you're going to get a great print. So then we're going to lift it. Bam, beautiful. I'm going to put that in for the close-up. Grab my light. So now you have, you can see the fingerprint. Nice, lots of rich detail in there. Now one thing that uh, we do is when we're dusting for our fingerprints or we're looking for foot impressions, we use our oblique lighting. So I have the uh, foot impression here. You can't see anything on it. And then our oblique lighting, we shine from the side. And I don't know if you can pick up try to get that on the camera here, where you can actually see my foot impression on here, the oblique lighting. 
What we're going to do with our gel lifters is you don't need oblique lighting. These things are so dark, when you have your print on it, you can actually shine the light right onto it, and that print's going to pop right up. Okay, so that was easy. We used fingerprint powder. We lifted a fingerprint, whoopie do. Now we're going to try to do it without anything at all. We're just going to put the gel lifter uh, on a, a, this is a textured surface. We're going to see if we can lift a fingerprint without dusting it at all. That's how sensitive these are. So I'm going to use one of these uh, medium size. Again, we're just going to peel it apart. There you go, baby. Put that on. Take our roller, roll that on. I'm putting a fair amount of pressure. I'm not pushing too hard. If you push really hard on these, they'll start to uh, roll on you and then there'll be crap. We don't want that. Give it a couple seconds. All right, now I'm gonna just peel that off and see what we have. Oh yeah, this looks great. There's a lot more on here than I expected. Uh, I'm gonna put that in for the close-up. And I'll even point a couple of them out here. Uh, they're gonna be difficult to see on the camera here, but you can see that inside there are fingerprints all over. This one right here is fantastic. Lots of ridge detail. There's one right here, fantastic. So there you have it. We didn't have to dust it at all. This will work on textured surfaces. I've done it on uh, a cinder block, like a cinder block wall that would be like in a high school or something like that that's been painted, that's textured. It works amazing on that type of stuff. Um, there's another textured surface. I picked these up at the hardware store. They're great for practice. Another textured surface. They'll work fantastic on these. Uh, but now I want to show you what you can do for the foot impressions. So I'm going to put this one in. I was showing you the oblique lighting and how we got the foot impression before. So first we'll just take a look. You're not seeing anything on here. I'm going to put it in for the close-up to see if we can see what we're going to try to lift. So I'm just using my oblique lighting here. You can see the foot impression here just as I roll it across. Oh, there's another one right there. That's awesome. Okay, so now what we're going to do is what I would normally do is if you were doing this, uh, let's say it was a door that was kicked in. Turn the lights off, and here it's pretty bright, and we were still able to see that, but I would turn the lights off, and then I would shine my oblique lighting on, on the, uh, where, where I think that the foot impression would be. You could do it on a floor, you could do it on the door, it doesn't matter, but it's better when it's dark. Then I would take a marker and mark the top and the bottom of where that foot is so that I can lift it. So now what we're gonna do, let's clear my space. I'm gonna take a big boy here, and it's gonna work the same way. It has the protective covering. I'm gonna peel that off. You wanna make sure you're wearing gloves when you apply these because when you touch the side, your print will, will be there. It's impossible to touch them without your print getting on there. So now, oh, I'm gonna see where I, my print is. There it is. You're gonna lay that on top. Same thing, and take your roller. Roll that bad boy out. And then we're going to peel it up. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. I like that. So we're in for the close up here. You can see an amazing foot impression that was left behind. You can even probably see the heel on it, but here is really good up front. Really, really great. Good job, Mike. That was great. All right, so now what we're going to do is, uh, those are the ways that we use it to lift fingerprints, foot impressions, textured surfaces. That's, they're all going to be pretty much the same. You peel it, you, you put it on, roll it, and then you're good to go. The question that I get most is, so I have this impression I lifted. How do we get this to the lab? Well, if you you can, you should try to take a picture of it first. That's normal that we should do that. Um, 
I did actually talk with the manufacturers of gel lifters and they told me that it's okay to go ahead, I'm looking for the small sheet here, that it's okay to put this back on top to keep it safe. Because what's gonna happen is this is gonna start picking up dust and stuff like that. When you try to send this to the lab, it's gonna get a mess. So I like to just lay it back on top, nice and light. It's gonna look a little bit messy and then when they get to the lab, they'll peel that off again and it's gonna be fine. So it is okay to put that protective layer back on top, no problem. Okay, so now uh, the last thing I want to do, uh, and I did this in a previous video, uh, but we're going to do it because we're involving the gel lifters. And so I have my indented writing, so I have my little happy face here. We're going to pretend this is a notepad or something that we want to see uh, what a person may have written a few pages earlier. So I'm going to take off that one. Um, let's go down three. So I'll go one two, three. So now here I'm looking at it. I don't see any indentation from my writing at all. Um, it is, but this would be typical if you had a pad, let's say it was a suicide note that you thought might be um, altered or that you want to see what they wrote before this. This is great. So now I have that. I've actually done this in check cases too and it works great on a checkbook. So the same thing, I'm going to lay it down. I'm going to take one of the medium size, throw this bad boy on there. Now when we're doing our indented writing, you do have to put a little more pressure on here. So I'm just gonna put a decent amount of pressure on there. Okay, so you can see it's on there pretty well. I'm gonna peel that off. Oh yeah, now we're talking. You never know if it's actually gonna work until you do it, so. But I can see that, um, that happy face. I'm gonna put it in for the close-up. Once you shine your light on it, it may be uh, very faint on the camera, but it's very clear. We can even take a picture if we need to to show you that. There's a nice happy face right in the middle. Beautiful. So these are a great, great tool to use. Uh, if you should definitely have some in your crime scene bag. Uh, if you're trying to save a couple bucks, just get a big one and then you can cut them up as you need it. They work fine. Um, a few other things, I wanted to give a shout out to Brooks and Mr. Runnels class at Cash High School. I know that you're watching all my videos, appreciate that. Um, you can also watch all of my videos on YouTube, of course, but you can also check them out at ForensicEducation.net. If you want to buy gel lifters, powders, the roller, or any of this stuff, you can get them at LynnPV.com, and I hope to see you soon.